Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. It is 8.55. I'm about to head out. My appointment, my dentist appointment is at 10.30. But we're going to head out early to get the hell out of there early, you know? It says if I leave right now, I'll be there 9.19. I want to be there 9.30, 9.40, like around that time. But since there's five kids and me, I'm going to just get ready now and then order the cab. And then, you know, we're going to get there. <sighs> good morning guys good morning friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe stay tuned for more vloggy vlogs this is a vloggy vlog i do vloggy vlogs i do hauls i do chit chat video so i'm a mom of five i live in new york city and i got a dentist appointment with all four of my oldest kids and myself today let's see how this goes last time last time when like a little i'll say a little embarrassing because my kids were in brushing their teeth faithfully and they were doing a good job and I wasn't on top of them all the time. I mean, I would always remind them, hey, did you brush your teeth? And they used to lie to me sometimes. When I tell you my kids, my girls, I'm trying to teach them self-care, love themselves, take care of yourself, woke up. But they think they could just roll off the bed and put whatever and walk outside, whatever. Their hair is not even done, but whatever. I'm going to do their hair tonight when they come home because... We have, I want to go to church tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. There's a church around here that I want to try out because my church that I faithfully went growing up and having all my babies, um, I used to go to the church, but now they move after the pandemic, they moved to Jersey. So they so far from me, I'm in Far Rock and then in Jersey, I don't drive. So it's too much for me to get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to see if that church I'll feel welcome to go like that would be my second choice church because if i have to go to the my original church i'm going we having a retreat we having a mother's day thing i want to go those are my those i grew up in that church they know me since a little girl before i even had kids you know and now i'm entering to a new church because i need to have my kids need to go to church every sunday i need to incorporate that in our schedule and our daily life style because when you don't go to church, I swear your life is like collapse, collapsing. You're not spending time with God. You're not making time for Him. I mean, I do make time for Him. I journal, I pray, I fast. But it's been a while that I've been to church faithfully every Sunday, every Friday. But, okay, I've been blabbering. I'm going to go get ready and head to this appointment. Wish me luck, guys. And make sure you subscribe. Help my channel grow, guys. Um... You know, and um, y'all will see more videos, you know. What was I going to say? What was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Oh, look at my shades, guys. <laughs> my shades. They cute. Ooh. They cute. And I did like a light little makeup. Like I put prime and I put some lipstick and lip gloss and um, eyeliner. That's all I did. I put some blush, but I, don't, I can't even see the blush, you know. But yeah, you guys. Stay tuned for the next clip and subscribe. Please subscribe if you're new here. This place is McDonald's. What's wrong with it? It looks like the other one that we have in front of our building. No. This, this, it doesn't? This oh. looks like the older days of McDonald's. No, that's the um, modern. More modern. Seven Eleven? Seven Eleven has hockey dinner. Seven Eleven has hockey dinner. This place is amazing. This is gonna get one hundred stars. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Let me see. Let me see. Are you look? Oh, you look good, Bookie. We're not gonna take a dog at the whole opposite. Maybe, maybe. No, I want to go home after this. No, no, you stay home. So. Hey, hey, hey. Mommy, are you vlogging? 
This morning to go to church to a new church that i never been but i did not make it i think because my son puked in the middle of the night last night he got really sick i bring him a pizza from the party and he threw that all out and i was like okay and also we was up uh, pretty late last night and i was like i don't want to i want to let the kids rest today because tomorrow they got to go to school and you know this month is test months and they need to be a hundred percent brain rested everything rested so that was kind of my excuse of not going also because i'm kind of like nervous to go to a new church i've been going to my church for years since i was a kid with my mom and then i started bringing my kids when i had kids and now going to a new church is like kind of scary but i told myself that i'm gonna fast this week i'm gonna fast this week and i'm definitely gonna go this sunday i'm um i'm gonna go this sunday let's see if i get the courage to going but yeah yesterday the party was fine it was fun the kids got to be kids they got to see some friends i usually don't go out and take my kids to parties but i had to do something fun for them i mean all they do is school home school home school home and they do and they're pretty good kids sometimes they don't listen but you know because they're fighting and they, and they just can't stop laughing and giggling but they just being kids you know but they're pretty much they're pretty good kids and they're doing great in school so far i see that everybody's gonna pass this year i see all my babies achieving goals and stuff like that but yeah i just came over here because i'm about to clean this room i wash the dishes in the kitchen well some of the dishes that um nick washed some dishes and and now i washed the i took chloe a shower washed the washed the dishes that needed to be done and I'm gonna just clean this room and I'll probably go to the living room and clean up there and then I gotta do box spray for Emma. Yesterday I did box spray for Kimberly and Emily. I was able to do them too, but Emma didn't. So today I'm doing Emma's box spray and yeah, and I, I feel so guilty like why oh, I didn't go. But, oh, and I also have to do a DoorDash delivery of pampering wipes because I'm not going outside right now. 
it's I got a lot of things to do in the house and then I could go out and by the time I finish cleaning box braiding I it probably be super late for me to go outside so right now I'm watching people on YouTube on my TV I'm probably gonna play some music some Christian music to you know just thank God for everything of this week and this coming week and everything that he has given me all my life um, I've been going through a uh, rough life been lifing me out this past few days but um the beginning of this year has been a hard year but um i'm just grateful for well you know for everything and things are not going the way i want, would have wanted but this is god clearing my path for something good that's not coming on my way i will i trust in god and i trust that he's leading me where i need to be and where i should be and i'm gonna leave that in god's hand and um i'm not even gonna stress it i know life i keep saying life is lifing me the fuck out but I don't know if I could curse on YouTube. Sorry if I am not supposed to. But look at this grungy. This grungy. Look, I get distracted so quick. This is a bowl. This bowl had this grungy in it. Rip the bowl rip. I don't want to throw away the bowl. I think I'm going to do like something, a decoration and glue it on. No, Nico, close my door. I'm going to clean my room and then you can come in when it's clean. Guys, I had to kick out all the kids in my room. They want to be in my room 24-7. When we get a new apartment, my room is off the limit. Like never again. Because they're going to break your bed, break your TV, break everything. They have this apartment. I've been like, whoop. When I tell you, this apartment, my kids have broken so much furniture. Mm, I don't I don't know if I ever broke a furniture growing up. My, my father would have, you know what I'm saying? But my mom would have just yelled at me. My father would, whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, but... I'm praying for that. That's what I really, really want this year is to start over in a new beginning in a new apartment and just, you know, new furniture, new stuff. If you know, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I've been struggling in this apartment. It has been raining for the past three days and it's been raining in the freaking apartment, like inside, inside. And now it's raining in my kitchen and it's like, whoa, chill. Like, is the roof going to fall off? So the living room is off limit for those three days because of that. So we had to eat dinner in our room. And that will, that's not an ideal living life for me. But whatever. God knows what he's doing. I'm not even, I need to, I'm going to stop complaining and just be grateful and thankful for everything that he has done for me. So let's get into this video. Let me go clean. And I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. Um, This is what I did this Saturday. I took the kids to the dentist and we, uh, we came home. We rested. We chill. I did box break and then party. A kid's birthday party. Um. It was my neighbor. She's like right down the hallway. So I didn't have to put on a cold walk far. It was just right there. You know what I'm saying? And then after the party, we came home. Nico got six around two in the morning, three. And um, I had to clean up puke. And I still got to go clean up a little bit more of the puke because I thought I had it all, but I didn't. And um, after that, I, I have to do a DoorDash order right now. But yeah, I went to sleep like around three in the morning. And I woke up at 9 because I wanted to go to church. Church opened up at 11. But I was scared. I, d I didn't have the gut to do it. And I was kind of using, like, my son was puking night as an excuse. And also the kids needing more rest because they were out partying last night and stuff like that. Next time, I'm going to make sure Saturday I am not doing too much. Or waking up, letting the kids sleep in a little longer. And then do what I got to do Saturday. And then wake up early Sunday morning and... And go thank God and give a day for him. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now I'm blabbering. I'm talking too much. So um, I hope you enjoy this clip of me cleaning this disgusting, trifling ass room. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever felt like giving up? Because you tried and tried. But for the hundredth time, the stars just won't align. Have you ever had a broken heart That even time won't heal Because you'd rather feel the pain than say goodbye I know I have drowned in holy water Had my spirit shaken If you've ever felt like this Get a
Have you ever found you lost your way? Sailing a sea of tears Caught in a storm of fears That rages through the night And do you ever wish the time could stop? So you can finally breathe And find a little peace Your life has been denied Oh, I know I have Drowned in holy water Had my spirit shaken If you've ever felt like this Who can I get a of today and close it today right now I'm, it, uh, right now i already sent all the kids to school it is 7 a.m right now they took the bus the bus came a little late i really thought like I, this might be stupid for me to say it's slow but i really thought that the, the clips happen every year i google it happens only two to five years apart i guess and i told my kids it's every year this never happened they exaggerating Honestly, because I never, all my life living, I didn't never, I never seen a big deal of the solar eclipse, you know, you know. But I guess be cautious. Don't look to the sun. Don't look up to the sky around the time that's supposed to happen. Um, directly, that's what they're saying, and that's all I know. I haven't educated myself on that because it's not something we grew up talking about. I mean, I mean, I didn't. Maybe because I'm a Dominican. A Dominican household, my mom probably didn't even know too much about it either. But good morning, guys. I hope you guys are having a f great first day of the week. I am up. I'm exhausted. I want to go lay down and take a nap, but I've been doing that too much. I've been taking naps lately way too much. And I'm trying to wake up early, work out early, and then worry about my rest of my day after that. I have to go to the library today and get the f guess what? The elevator not working, so hopefully by 10 o'clock it's working. I feel a little nauseous, I don't know, right now. Ooh. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it all the way to this to this clip, uh, make sure you subscribe. And if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am a New York City mom from New York. Oh, wow. I'm tired. You can tell I'm tired. I'm like New York City mom, New York, like sis, same thing. I'm 31 years old and I have five kids. And I do blogs, I do hauls, I do chit chat videos, you know, all of that good stuff. Excuse me. Whew. But welcome to my channel. 
and if you've been watching thank you for watching for being committed to my channel and for the support i appreciate it i'm tired i'm tired look at my chingy eye um you know i think i went to bed on a legit good time but i'm trying to get out of my lazy girl era because after i drop off the kids i go straight to bed with chloe to cuddle she sleep right now so i'm taking advantage of journaling and vlogging so yeah i'm trying to get out of my lazy girl era you know how those videos be on youtube trying to get out of your lazy girl era hopefully i could commit to it like the way i'm committing to my workout so saturday i didn't work out i worked out sunday instead of saturday because my day i went to the dentist then i had to when i came home from the dentist i took a nap like i told you i've been taking a lot of naps and um it's not i'm not pregnant i got my period and everything i'm not pregnant it's just i just been on my lazy girl ever for a very long time giving up on life um i think it's just, um, it has to do with everything i'm going through right now um seasonal depression probably could be also but i'm trying to get out of that funk be motivated love myself a little bit more spend more time with myself and and also have a schedule for myself so i could be committed to my my journaling talking to god prayers and just being committed and consistency so i can see more growth in me i, I want to plan on going to bed at a certain time and i want to plan to work out in the morning instead of the afternoon i usually work out right after dinner like 30 minutes after dinner but i think i want to change it to morning so i could um so in the afternoon i don't have to be rushing the kids for bed homework and bath time and all that even though they come home early as heck but i feel like every they come early and still nighttime be hectic anyways bedtime be happy but i love you guys and us and i'm i will be ending the vlog today i just don't i just want to vlog my day today and take y'all along with me have you ever felt like giving up because you tried and tried but for the hundredth time the stars just won't align have you ever had a broken heart that even time won't heal because you'd rather feel the pain than say goodbye I know I have drowned in holy water Had my spirit shaken So I'm in the kitchen, I'm gonna do dishes that we didn't get to do last night, so Honestly, I didn't want to do dishes. I cleaned my room. I cleaned the living room. I swept the whole hallway and I wiped down anything with dust in it last night. And when it came to the dishes, I was working out and I was like, eh, I'm not doing the dishes. But we're going to get into other dishes today. I know I shouldn't be going to bed with the dishes in the sink. My mom will kill me. You know what I'm saying? She's Dominican and she will murder me. So let's get into these dishes. Have you ever felt like giving up? Because you tried and tried But for the hundredth time The stars just won't align Have you ever had a broken heart That even time won't heal Because you'd rather f So I finished cleaning the kitchen And I was gonna work out but Chloe Woke up for milky time. <gasps> Hi, Mama. And she's still tired. Guys. Look at these little Fifi. So cute. Hey, so cute. Those Fifi, so cute. And those little chunky. What is that? Oh, crummy crumbs. Ew. Those little fingers. That little hand is growing. I love you. Good morning, Bookie. So yeah, I guess workout is gonna be postponed for a little later. Either way, Girl with Joe has a week plan and she didn't download the video on YouTube until 11 a.m. 
but I could still see the video. If I want to work out right now, I could because it's on her app. Mm -hmm. I need to make myself an account in her app. I haven't yet. I should. So we are, we are, we are. So Chloe loved these brown nipples, guys. She don't like any other nipples. She liked the bottle before that one, but because I didn't buy, I threw those away because I didn't think she has a problem with nipples. And now she's just been clingy. These are the only nipples she takes. I want to buy the old bottles that we had because those nipples she took too. But what I do is to wash that one, sterilize it. I get hot, hot, really hot water and put soap and throw the nipples in there and let them sit for a while and that works to clean up very well the bottle i wash it with hot water too i'll be doing hot water but there she is my beauty queen and my little princess chloe rose chloe glow, glow. Hi. hi can you give the people a smile can you give you two smile can you give you two smile? Okay, it's too early. It's too early. Okay. Take that back. Okay, you guys. So I put the camera down for like two, three hours. Um, and when Chloe woke up, it was like eight thirty. I was gonna work out. Eight, 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 or eight thirty. I think it was eight. Can't remember. But um, I fell asleep, putting her to sleep, and we just woke up eleven thirty now, and we're gonna get going to the library. I'm in the room with her. I just finished dressing her up, getting her all cute. Say hi, friends. I love wipes. For, for, for I love wipes. And I love eating wipey. <laughs> you can't take the phone, baby. But yeah, we get, we heading out now to the library, and I gotta go get some baby water, another can of milk, and. Yeah, and I still haven't finished my glass of water because I fell asleep. I was drinking it, and then I fell a freaking sleep, putting her to sleep. I mean, we if you hear the background, we put raindrops and fire, rain and fire at the same time to play to put her to sleep, and it works. It works. It even works on me as an adult. <laughs> but it looks very beautiful outside, so um, we're going to take this walk and enjoy our rest of our day. Um, everything is clean. I just got to fold some laundry when I come home and see what I'm cooking for dinner. I love you guys. Yes, I said I was not going to take a nap, but boy, oh boy, it's so hard not to when you're in a room and it's dim and you got to lay down a crate of the baby. She cold sleeps, so she sleep in my bed. And we've been doing great since she's been a baby. So we're going to head out, take a walk, take some breather. I guess I work out around... When I come back and she is calm and tame. I'm putting her in her walker and I'm on workout. I love you guys. See you in the next clip. Chloe wants to grab the phone. She's into phone grabbing now. Show them your outfit of the day. You say I have a pink long sleeve, rose pink pants, and hot pink socks. Ooh. Well, the socks match the shirt, so I'm matchy, matchy. My mom matched me. Say, see you later. See you later. <laughs> mm, love you guys. See you later. Hi friends, so I'm home, um, me and Chloe went to the library, and guess what, the freaking library was closed, it won't be open until April 15, and today is the eclipse day, you know, I'm gonna, put on, I'm gonna throw some pictures right here, my brother's kids school had like an event for it, they gave everybody glasses, it's so cute, the moon looks so beautiful, whatever, the, you know, I can't, I don't even know how to talk about it. Guys, I'm wearing this headband because my hair looking. My hair, I need to comb this. 
and give myself a hairstyle. But um, I haven't even worked out, and I had plans to work out earlier today. I got home. I went to the supermarket. I got me some wine. I'm gonna show you the wine later when I drink, when I open it. Super. I hope it's sweet because I wanted something sweet. That I something sweet and light, you know. And the kids move the fish away from the window because they think <laughs> the fish can't go blind. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford, wow, Clifford in Florida in his cage, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the kids now. I'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can see the kiddos. This are fishy over there. Uh huh. Put it closer. Go blind. Oh, got scared of himself. They be traumatizing him <laughs> themselves, shaking the cage and everything. All right, let me show y'all. Be right back. Studying for her test. Show them your nails. Oh my gosh, she's so girly. Giddy girl. Giddy in. Yeah. Who's pretty? You And then here's Kimmy Rose. <laughs> she's oh, well, this is a video. She's posing. She's going downstairs to pick up Nico with Daddy. And there's Emelina playing cashier with Clo Clo and Chloe and Daddy over there. That's the real cool. So this Hello. is how we out here. We chilling out here. Go. Chloe, look over here, Mama. Oh, my legs hurt. Hi, Mama. In my neck. Okay. Hey friends, so the day is almost over. It's almost bedtime. We didn't get to see the eclipse. I saw some picture my brother took on his phone, and I'm seeing some people post it on social media and whatever now. But I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Today was a very active day. Like today. We had to call 911 because my son was having heartburn and he was freaking out. So we went and got him Pepto-Bismol. The ambulance came, but we didn't take him to the ER. We just gave him Pepto-Bismol because they told us that's what they recommended us to do, the people, the ambulance guys. And I just cleaned the kitchen and now I'm just sipping on. Guys, don't judge me. I don't have, I don't have a wine glass. I need one. I'm going to get me. I'm sipping on some Moscato right here. Um before bed and that's it and i worked out too i didn't blog none of that because everything was just happening when the kids come home life is like hectic everything is happening quickly and i'm um, just spending time with them they have big tests coming up this week so we've been you know motivating them giving them great affirmation you know probably they stay home wednesday because they're gonna give them that day off and th thursday and friday is test day so I'm definitely going to pray over them and and read the Bible with them so they could go with confidence. And, and they got this. I know they got this. But thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you entertained. I hope you guys were entertained. I gave you some, you know, daily life. A good vlog today. And I, and I made y'all feel relaxed to watch this while y'all eat. Sipping on some wine or whatever now, guys. Get yourself some wine. Make sure you have a wine glass because my dumb ass bought a wine for $15 today and didn't buy a wine opener i don't have that either or a wine glass i used to have it but i don't know everything disappeared in this house um i'm gonna put a picture of the wine that i got because i don't remember the name of it. i know it's moscato with the footprint the green bottle or the blue bottle i think it is i don't know it's like a tortoise green i don't know but i love you guys and i'll see you in the next vlog peace out